okay uh, so in this problem uh, this is actually a problem based on uh, internal resistance or the maximum power that could be transferred to the external resistance r okay uh, this concept we have already seen in our previous lectures okay now in this question we have been given a battery of internal resistance 2 ohm is connected to a variable resistor whose value can vary from 4 ohm to 10 ohm the resistance is initially set at 4 ohm if the resistance is now increased then okay the options which are given to us available to us are power consumed by that resistance will decrease power consumed by the resistance will increase power consumed by it may increase or it may decrease power consumed will first increase and then decrease okay now uh, actually uh, this problem can be uh, solved if we'll, uh, solved very easily if we will draw for the uh, circuit diagram for the circuit uh, we know that there is some emf we have been given an emf with some internal resistance okay the value of that internal resistance given to us is 2 ohm okay and we have connected a variable resistor okay r whose value varies from 4 to 10 ohm okay now initially the value of the resistance is 4 ohms okay now they have asked if the value of resistance is increased further to 10 ohm okay from 4 to 10 ohm how the power across the resistance will vary whether it will increase it decrease or it will remain same or um, it uh, increases and then decreases now in order to solve for this first again let let us uh, do back the derivation for the maximum trans maximum uh, power that can be transferred to a resistance when the maximum power is transferred to a external resistance r okay now if we will uh, consider the resistance here as r okay and the internal resistance for time being let us assume that this is equal to small r okay the variable is smaller okay so the power the expression for power is okay, v times i okay or uh, in terms of uh, uh, the power which is delivered to the load that is in this case the power which is delivered to this resistance r can also be given as i square times of r where i is the current flowing through the circuit now as per this circuit diagram the current i which is flowing through the circuit would be the total emf divided by the total resistance now this small resistance r and this capital resistance uh, r they are connected in series so the total resistance would be r plus r okay square of this times r okay so this is the power which is consumed by the external resistance r now we want to maximize this power okay so for maximum uh, power uh, that would be delivered to the load we would be using this expression that is we'll be differentiating this with respect to r and equating it to zero to get a value of capital r that will maximize the power which is delivered across the load resistance okay now if we will differentiate this term okay we'll be getting dp by dr equals to e square Okay, so this is the expression which we get, which we obtain after differentiating this term. Now, uh, equating this to zero, equating this term to zero, we'll be getting the value. Okay, uh, I'll drop this uh, last two options. Okay, so after equating this term to zero, we'll be getting a value of r plus r. The whole square is equal to 2r times r plus r okay so this will give us the value of capital r is equal to small r okay so when the external resistance is equal to internal resistance we know that the power would be maximum okay and if we will increase the value of resistance from uh, uh, greater than uh, this internal resistance the power will decrease that means okay the curve which we'll be getting okay for the power across the resistance r by increasing the value of r would be something like this okay and this maximum power corresponds to a resistance capital r equals to small r now uh, as per the numerical as per the problem which is given to us we have been given that the external resistance starts from the value of 4 ohm okay and the internal resistance present is 2 ohm that means in the problem given to us r is already greater than capital uh, r is already uh, greater than small r that is internal resistance that means uh, 
uh, we are in this region. We are interested in this region. Okay, that means it has already crossed the maximum level. And as we can see from here, okay, after this level, if we'll go on increasing the value of the external resistance, the power which is flowing across this resistance will decrease. Okay, no matter what is uh, the value of capital R. Okay, once it has crossed the value of internal resistance, okay, that means two ohm. When the extra capital R value crosses two ohm, the power will decrease. Okay, so that means in this case, when the resistance is increased from four ohm to ten ohm, the power will continuously decrease. So the correct option for our case would be the first option: power consumed by it will decrease. Uh, before we proceed to next example, uh, let me give you a shortcut for uh, when uh, n identical resistors are connected in parallel. Okay, what we have with us is n identical resistors, okay, and these resistors are connected in parallel. Okay, so suppose this is the first first branch. Okay, this is the first row, second. This is the nth row. Okay, so we have n branches, and across each of the branch, we have the same resistance R, and all these resistors are connected in parallel. Now we need to determine the equivalent resistance, equivalent uh, resistance for this case when all the resistors are identical. Now we know for the from the formula for uh, the equivalent resistance for parallel case, the general formula would be like this for n resistors connected in parallel, the value of the resistance, the value of resistance is this. Now, if we will solve for the equivalent resistance, we'll be getting a value. Okay, this would be n terms. Okay, since there are n branches, there would be n terms. So from here, we can say that one by R equivalent would be equal to n by R. Okay, that means R equivalent is R by n. So what we can observe from this expression is that when n identical resistors are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance would be a single individual resistance given to us divided by the number of branches present in the circuit. That means R by n. Okay, so this is a very important result. Okay, for equivalent resistance for parallel cases, which we will be using further in our case. Okay, 